Hey, what's going on guys? Ruta Null here, and now we're taking a look at more string variables and functions inside Python. So uh, let's check it out. Let's get idle started. Let's create our uh, skeleton program. Let's save mine as a uh, file.python. USR bin environment python class. Oh, I got the W. I screwed up. Dang it. Alright, define a constructor. Self. Okay, now we are ready to roll. Let's create a new string here. Let's call this uh, string, obviously. This is a string. And now let's check out a new function today. We're going to be taking a gander at the uh, is a digit function. In fact, let's make sure that's the right thing. We have a string. Now we can use our dot selector and see what we can do here. And it is is digit. So what it will do is a boolean function again that will return whether or not there is a digit, or at least that string is made up of digits, or numbers, and that sort of thing. So if you have uh, that number, that'll be returned true, but if you had like an A in there and some other numbers, it returns false because it's not a digit. You've got this random A in there. So that's all we're going to look through today, and we're going to be using our, uh, our string module like we tried last time. So let's import that. Import string. And now let's create a new function. Define is numbers is is full of digits. It's full of digits. That's a pretty lengthy function name, but I guess it's okay. String to look through. And I got a pretty lengthy variable name, but hey, the more the more precise and definitive it is, the better. So let's create a, a loop here for character in string to look through. We're going to be looping through the string as always, and we can test if the character is in string dot digits. And we're going to be using our dot selector so we can get the digits uh, character, uh, the character set, that string, the information of the variable out of this module. And remember, we want to be looking for digits, so if it's not a character in the, digit, in the string digits, we can return false. And here we can return true. So if we check out in the interactive shell though, we can check out string.digits. Oh, we have to import string first of all. String.digits. We have a length, or at least we have a string of all of these numbers that we would normally be looking for. So if we run now self.string Actually, self dot is full of digits. We can pass in self dot string. We print that out. We do want to be able to see what we're getting here. It'll say false because there are there aren't any numbers in there at all. So if we just typed in uh, three twenty three though, that'll work because that's true. If we had any characters in there it'll say that's false. If we had any spaces in there, it'll say it's false, because it's checking for anything that is inside the string.digit string. So anything that is a number, in our case. And if we if it sees anything that isn't a number, it has a hissy fit. So that's, that's all, though. This is real easy and simple, and it's building off that idea that we were looking at yesterday, or at least in the last video, and we're checking out with the string module, and there's a lot more we can do with this. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was quick and easy, but uh, hey, that's the way things should be. <laughs> See you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye.